hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install the latest version of kali linux on your android phone now this is going to cover all the steps you need to manually set up kali linux first we need to download temux and nethunter store so head to your browser and then visit this blog post on etechbox i'm going to provide the link in the video description alongside every other link mentioned in this video First, we are going to download Temox using the link right here. From here, you can see Temox APK. Click on it and it should download. After downloading Temox, we also have to download NetHunter Store. So, search for NetHunter Store. Click on the first link that heads to NetHunter Store. Now, switch to landscape mode, else you will struggle with clicking on the download button. Now click on download store app. After downloading NetHunter store, we can install both Temox and NetHunter store. So click on them and then click on install. Done. Click on NetHunter store and install as well. If you get this prompt, simply click on more details and then install anyway. Alright, so here we go. We have Temox and we have NetHunter Store. Next, we are going to download Kali Linux root FS file. And to do that, return back to your browser and then go back to eTechBox blog post. Now you should see the installation guide for Kali Linux NetHunter Foo. Now we are going to copy this link that leads to the source. So just highlight and copy. Paste it in your browser. And let's go. Now you can see base URL there, which is going to lead us to the directory of Kali Linux. So let's open and paste that as well. I'm going to provide this direct link in the video description. So you can just head directly to this page. So here is the file we need to download, which is our Kali Linux image file. So let's download. So I already have this file downloaded, so I'm just going to cancel. Now let's head to our file manager. We can use files by Google. And then open your internal storage. Go to your download folder. And you can see our downloaded file right there. Now click on the tab icon and click on file info. Now copy the location of the file right there. We need it for later. Now we can close this and head back to Temox. Alright, so the first command is to set up Temox storage. So run Temox dash setup dash storage, which is going to ask us for permission. And then we're going to grant permission for Temox to access our storage. Next, we're going to change repository by using the command Temox dash change dash repo. And then hit enter. Hit enter to select the main repository. And select mirrors by albatross hit enter next we are going to update and upgrade our packages so run pkg updates and pkg upgrade dash y now if you get any prompts like this simply enter y for yes and hit enter to proceed complete now let's install wget by running this command pkg install wget and then y for yes and continue now type in ls to list the files in that directory 
and you can see it's currently empty with just storage now we're going to move the file we downloaded to this directory by running the command mv and then we're going to paste in the location of the file we copied earlier and then the destination in this case approximation sign forward slash and then hit enter now it's going to move our downloaded file from the download folder to the temux directory where we can run the installation done now let's run ls again to see if the file is now there and yes our kali linux rootfs file is now there i head back to etech box blog again from here we're going to copy the full line to download kali nethunter full script so just copy from wget now we've already downloaded this file so we're not going to download again but we need this file to continue the installation so let's just paste the command and hit enter and it is going to download the installation script and you can see right there install nethunter dash foo now run ch mode plus x and then the name of the file which in this case it is install dash nethunter dash foo now this is going to make our file executable hit enter now if we run ls and you can see the color of the file has changed to green meaning it's executable we can run dot slash and then the name of our file to execute so you can see it has found an existing image file which we manually downloaded earlier so we are going to select n for no we don't want to delete it continue and it is now going to use this image file to run kali linux installation it is going to take a while to extract root fx around 20 minutes or more it depends on the phone you're using and the specs hey guys if any of our video has been beneficial to you you can support us by buying a match from etechbox.store use the promo code kalify for five percent off now back to the video and the installation is complete now we can select yes to delete root fs file since we no longer need it and continue all right now first we have to change the password or rather set a password for nethunter and to do that run the command nethunter kex password p a s s w d and then hit enter now set the password you're not going to see the password as you're typing it on the screen but it's recording verify as well no we don't want and to start our machine we just have to run nethunter kex and hit enter and it should start up the server okay so you can see X Tiger VNC and the port number as well. So let's head back to NetOnter Store and then download the software we're going to use to view our machine. Click on the search button and search for KEX. K -E -X. Click on NetOnter KEX right here and then install. Settings allow from this source install more details and install anyway now let's open allow remember our port number is 5901 so make sure to change that and then also enter your vnc password which you set earlier and connect and here you go you can see kali linux is now running on our android phone now you can access all kali linux tools right here you can access the file manager and this is using shared storage with your phone you can also switch input mode if you don't like the mouse settings you can change that as well you can also change scaling and resolution and so much more you can check this out yourself and one last thing to stop this program from running simply 
head back to Temox and run net hunter kex stop and this is gonna kill the process whenever you wanna start you can run net hunter kex and and it is gonna start up again if this video was helpful kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one